Hello. So in this lesson, I'm actually going to show you how to make your own wall plate. It starts by purchasing just a blank plate. This is a dual gang plate, a two gang. You could get them single gang, three gang, four gang, depending on how big of a plate you need to uh, accommodate all the jacks that you're going to put on it. For uh, our needs, I have the XLR cable that we made from the other night and our quarter inch plug that we made from the other night as well. So I'm going to show you how to put this into a panel mount and this into a panel mount. And now we did not make our RCA cable, but I will show you how to put your RCA jack into the panel mount as well. Some of the tools that you're going to need are a gauge. Uh, these you can pick up in any home store. They just show you diameters uh, of the holes that you might need for what we're working with. So for example, this is the, uh, the jack from our quarter inch plug. So I would put the, the gauge on this and figure out where it sits best. And 11.30 seconds is actually where it fits best. However, one of the next tools that you're going to need is called a step drill. And I have two different step drill bits here. One's a little heftier than the other. If you notice, they're open on one side. And these are what you're going to use to drill through your wall plate. Now, we said that jack was 11.30 seconds, but because the, the drill drills in steps, you're, you're not going to actually necessarily find that exact uh, diameter. And in this case, the one that we have is just a little bit too low, or a little bit too small, uh, or the next one up would be a little bit too big. So checking on this, we can go up to 3 eighths. 3 eighths would be a, a good size. And if we check our jack, 3 eighths actually works very well. It's slightly loose, but once you get it in there and tighten it up, it'll sit fine in the, in the hole. Okay, so we have our blank wall plate. The next thing we need, what I like to do, is take a piece of wood with a hole cut in it. Now it could be a circular hole. Uh, I used a hole saw, just a, a regular Lennox hole saw. As you can see, the piece is still in there. Or you could take a roto zip or any type of tool just to get a, a hole drilled. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take our wall plate and mount it over the hole. This way, we're going to screw it down to the, the wood. As I'm drilling, my drill can then go through the, the hole that we, we cut out there so we can make our hole in the wall plate. Otherwise, it'd be rather difficult to try to maneuver this. And if you try to drill through this without securing it to something, uh, you're probably going to uh, dent the plate as well. So that's our next step, is to get this secured over the hole and just put a couple screws in it to hold it down. Okay, so as you can see, I now have it screwed down to my board, and it's over the hole where I'm going to cut through. The next thing I'm going to do is change my drill bit out here, and take my, my driver out, and put my step drill in.
Now, because of the nature of the metal, that bit is going to grab onto the metal uh, quite well. So we want to take a precaution here. I'm just going to clamp it down to the two stools that I have to keep it from moving around. So we know we want to go 3 eighths. I'm going to drill a little off center. And it's best to start slow so it doesn't skid across the plate. Okay, so there's our hole. Please be very careful because now it has sharp edges and it has little bits of stray metal that could poke your fingers and give you a nice cut. Let me get my jack here and we can test it and see if it needs to be made a little bit bigger. It doesn't fit through yet. Okay, and there we go, and now that will fit through our hole. So that is for our quarter inch jack. Now we need our XLR jack, and now our XLR jack here, as you can see, is actually a pretty hefty cable, or it's a, a pretty uh, hefty jack here, There's, uh, it's quite wide. So I'm going to have to change out this small bit that I have for my much larger one. Now when you're planing this, because the, the bit is so wide, you have to make sure that you have a drill that can accommodate that size chuck. Let's see here. I'm going to off-center this a little bit. It doesn't really matter for our purposes right now. For aesthetics, if you were doing this, uh, you would want your panels or want your jacks to line up in some fashion so it would, it would look neat and orderly. And again, same. Uh, start off slow and give yourself some support so it doesn't wobble across the plate. <laughs> And if you're not sure, you can always stop and check. Can I get those metal shards out of the way there? Check and see if your jack fits. And in this case, it's almost there. I just need a little bit more out of it. Perfect. Now, to mount these, to mount this in particular, what I would do is take a smaller drill bit, put a pencil in those three holes to make my pencil marks, or if you were steady enough to hold it in place, drill out those three holes. You could either screw it to the plate, or you can uh, use... Um, Okay, so now that we have our hole drilled out, I'm going to take my, my wire and test it, and it fits in there perfectly. So now from here, I would take a smaller drill bit, drill out those three holes, the mounting holes. You can either screw it to the plate, 
or to make a more permanent connection, you can use a rivet gun and rivet that to the plate as well. Let me get that out of the way for right now. As for your quarter inch, all you have to do is unscrew that little washer there, or the little nut, and there's a washer behind it. That comes off. Put it up from the bottom, or from the back side. You're going to want to put the washer back on it first, and then put the nut on. And there you go. Then just screw it down. You could take a pliers. However, if you're going to do this, be careful that you only grab the nut itself and that you're a little bit off the face of the plate. Otherwise, you will put a nice scratch ring around the plate. So to keep it neat, just be a little careful there when you're tightening that nut up. There we go. So... Let me loosen this up for a minute here. Now we have our quarter inch plug or jack put in there. We could take our quarter inch plug, test, and you see how nicely it fits in. Likewise, our XLR has a big enough opening to fit through. And then we can test our XLR plug as well. No, oh, no, we can't. We don't have a long enough cable. Okay, so now that we have our quarter-inch plug screwed in place there, we could take our quarter-inch plug, if we had a, a long enough cable, and test it out and see how it works. And it works pretty well there. Likewise with our, our XLR, we don't have a long enough cable to get around, but you see, you could test it out and see how it fits there. Our last one is to do the RCA. Let me clamp our jig back down here. And now for the RCA, I don't need a hole big enough for the front mount because that's going to sit on the front of the plate. I need a hole this size, the back of the jack. So I'm going to take my wire gauge here and quarter inch fits perfectly. So that's what I need this quarter inch. So let me look at my gauge here and see if I can find a quarter inch. Sometimes after using it, all the, the markings on the inside get worn off. So we take quarter inch, and it looks to me like that first hole might have to be a little bit bigger. But on here, the second hole fits perfectly. So I'm going to change my... Uh, my drill bit, put the smaller one back in here, all right, find a good spot, and here we go. There's one. There's two. Okay. So, now I can take my RCA. And notice it fits in there perfectly. I'm going to flip it over to the back side. So you can see that 
what I will do is I will put this little lock washer on. It's a split ring lock washer. That goes on. And then I'm going to bend that tab on the next ring that my wire will get soldered to. And then I have a little nut that gets screwed onto the back side. Just like that. So now my three connections are ready. Okay, and there you go. There's your wall plate. Unscrew from here, pull your cables through to your, your mixing board or whatever you're sending them to, and you have your wall plate, all custom designed and built by you. Hope you had fun with it. Thank you.